It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. In 3032 the Black Knights independent military group took notice of a pirate group calling themselves the Crimson Cutthroats. The Cutthroats had conducted raids into the Free World's League and the Magistracy of Canopus. On 3rd of March 3032 the Black Knights secretly landed on Booker 3. Working with elements of the second Canopian Fusiliers, a trap was set for the Cutthroats. On 12th of May 3032 the Cutthroats dropped on Booker 3 in a standard raid on agriculture and industrial targets. Only this time instead of meeting little to no resistance from an unprepared planetary garrison, the Cutthroats were engaged by three lances of elite knights along with elements of the second Canopian Fusiliers. During the fighting, the Cutthroat Command Lance abandoned their fellows and fled toward their dropship. Predicting this escape route, the Black Knights concealed its elite striker assault lance in the agrarian mech bay of the old Cope of the Infall. Late in the day on 13th of May 3032 the fleeing cutthroats raced headlong into the waiting Black Knights. Turn 1. Seeing the battle mechs emerge from the barn, the cutthroats rush ahead. The rookie wasp pilot races ahead at full speed, trying to reach the cutthroat extraction point. The rest of the cutthroats follow at top speed. The black knights continue to exit the agrarian mech bay. The black knights Phoenix Hawk fires its jump jets and leaps over the barn. The Black Knights open up with a volley of PPC fire. The Cutthroats return fire with PPCs and LRMs. Neither side finds a mark. Turn 2. As the cutthroats charge forward, the Black Knight's Phoenix Hawk attempts to outflank the pirates, while his lance mates creep forward. Both sides open up with most of their weapons. The cutthroats panther is savaged by the Black Knight Marauder, taking two PPC hits. The Black Knight Battlemaster opens up on the fleeing wasp, but the 200-year-old targeting system freezes and causes the weapon system to miss Y while the Black Knight Mech Warrior struggles to reboot his system. The cutthroat Jagger Mech lines up his auto cannons and strikes the Battlemaster squarely in the head. Suffering a concussion, the pilot is knocked unconscious and the 85 ton assault mech slams into the ground. Heat begins to build up on both sides. Turn 3. The Cutthroat Wasp races past the Black Knights, continuing to flee towards the safety of the Cutthroat Extraction Zone. 
The Phoenix Hawk chases down the cutthroat commander's crusader, looking for a rear shot on the heavy mech. The rest of the Black Knights hold their ground, lining up their shots on the approaching pirates. The cutthroats open fire with a massive volley of missiles, autocannons, lasers, and PPCs. The Black Knights likewise continue to fire their PPCs and lasers at the pirates. The cutthroat's weapons slam into the Black Knights, but deal only minor damage to their targets. The Black Knight's commander and his marauder aims and fires his PPCs at the panther. Both PPCs slam into the leg, ripping it from the chassis. As the mech tumbles, the mech warrior ejects. A PPC shot from the Black Knight Warhammer finds a soft spot in the Jagger mech's torso armor, ripping through, striking the engine and the gyro before setting off the autocannon ammunition bin. The Jagger mech vanishes into a massive explosion, tiny pieces of battle mech raining down across the entire cornfield. Pilots on both sides blink sweat from their eyes as temperature alarms begin to ring out. The cutthroat commander curses as he slams overrides to keep his mech from shutting down. The pain in his head throbbing, the battle master mech warrior regains consciousness. Turn 4. Despite the calls from his commander, the terrified wasp pilot continues to flee toward the cutthroat extraction point. The remaining cutthroats limp forward, slowing because of their heat level. The Black Knights hold their position, allowing the wasp to flee. The Black Knight Battlemaster stands and begins to chase down the overheating crusader. Eager to get back into the fight, the Black Knight Phoenix Hawk attempts to overrun the fleeing Vindicator. The Cutthroats pump all the fire they can into the Black Knight Warhammer. The Black Knight's Warhammer and Phoenix Hawk fire on the fleeing Vindicator, attempting to stop it from escaping. The Black Knight Marauder and Battlemaster continue to punish the Cutthroat Commander's Crusader. While shots land, no side takes sufficient damage to lose a unit. The Crusader's heat has become unbearably hot. The pilot throws more emergency switches to keep the ammo bins from cooking off. The Black Knight Warhammer pilot took slightly too long to hit his overrides, and the Warhammer shuts down. Final turn. Like the Wasp, the Vindicator pilot abandons the remaining cutthroats. Cut off and alone, his battle mech dangerously close to cooking off its ammo, the cutthroat commander signals his surrender. The cutthroat commander was taken prisoner and sent off to Canopus 4 for trial. He was convicted and executed for piracy and murder. The Panther pilot escaped into the farmland but was found and lynched by the local population several days later. The Vindicator and Wasp pilot managed to escape to the hidden dropship and successfully fled Booker 3. Their report of the Black Knights led to the cancellation of many raids. The Black Knights remained on Booker 3 for another three months before lifting to much fanfare.